Bonjour and welcome to Pierre's Kitchen. Today, I'm excited to share with you a simple and light recipe, one of my healthy and easy dish to make. It's a marinated grilled chicken breast with a warm and crunchy broccoli salad, and we will serve it alongside a delicious bulgur that should take you less than 20 minutes to prepare. And by the way, that recipe came across after watching a random documentary on Mr. Cristiano Ronaldo saying he was apparently a great consumer of chicken and broccoli to keep in shape which doesn't sound really exciting at first say like that. So let's try to take it a little further than the classic boiled brocos and serve it with rice. And to do so, we will put together a pretty tasty marinade that we will use to marinate the chicken first and also serve as a dressing for the salad. That marinade I adjusted for the purpose is an old time favorite of some clients of mine. And it's a pleasure to share it with you today. So let's get started and remember, bon appétit. So to start that recipe, we will need a few ingredients. And to start with, we'll need a broccoli. We will need also one orange. We will need a couple of cloves of garlic, some fresh ginger, a bell pepper. I use a yellow one, but you can use any kind of pepper really. Some bulgur, a few raisins, a few pieces of butter, some dry thyme, chili flakes, black cracked pepper, ground coriander, soy sauce, olive oil, honey, and of course, a chicken breast. This one is corn-fed, and you can see it's a little yellowy. So let's start with the marinade. So we'll need some orange. Let's slice that one in half. Some ginger. And let's start by peeling that ginger. Then we will slice it in julienne, and then finally chop it and it's going in the bowl. Now let's crush these garlic cloves. Completely squeeze them and then put them in a bowl as well. We will now squeeze that orange inside. Keep a little quarter of the orange for the decoration at the end. Let's put a little thyme in it as well. Some black cracked peppers, chili flakes, some ground coriander, a squeeze of honey, a couple of spoons of soya sauce, drizzle of olive oil, finishing with a little bit of salt. And that's giving you that beautiful marinade. So let's take care of the chicken now. So we have the chicken breast and we will incise it like a little less where the breast is thinner and we will do that on both sides now we can marinate the chicken and we will leave it on the side until we start grilling it it's the broccoli's turn now and we will have to Cut them in half first and then do small quarters, pretty thin because they will need to be steamed pretty quickly. The thinner you can do them, the better I would say. Okay, so let's put those broccolis on the side and take care of that bell pepper. So let's first slice it and then we will use a peeler to remove the skin, which can be a bit awkward sometimes when we eat it. So we can just peel it like that. I mean. We will just now shred it into julienne. And that's ready as well. Bulgur. So for one cup of bulgur, two cups of liquid. That's the normal take. I use a little less. I use one and three quarter. And it really depends on which bulgur you use. But we will use one and three quarters this time. We will add some olive oil to it. Some salt and also the raisins and let's put that saucepan to boil now and now it's boiling we're gonna add the bulgur to it give it a little whisk and then after 20 seconds we're just gonna turn it down completely off and put a plate on the top so after one minute we will remove the plate from the top of the saucepan and we will add our broccolis and we will put straight back the plate on the top and we will wait for 10 minutes about for the 
broccoli is to be steamed and also the bulgur to carry on absorbing all that liquid. Let's now grill that beautiful marinated chicken and we will use the grill. I put normally the grill on 8, which is a good number, 7, 8. If I go up to 9, but for now 8 is fine. And you can see it's just grilling away. I mean, it will stay tender. That marinade just got slightly into the chicken and we will pour a little bit of it on the top at the end. So it carries on steaming that beautiful chicken. And once we are done with it, we let it to rest for a few minutes. And during that time, we will prepare our salad. I mean, we will finalize it. After removing the plates from the top of that saucepan, the broccolis are just perfectly cooked. They are still crunchy. It's pretty cool and we will just extract them from that saucepan. We will also take a moment to add a few dices of butter to the bulgur. We will then add a few of those shredded yellow bell peppers, a little bit of that marinade, and we will toss them together. It's about time now to slice that juicy chicken and see if it's as good as it looks. I mean, that chicken stayed nice and moist. That's perfect. So now let's plate up salad at the bottom. Then our sliced chicken. We will now take care of that bulgur that we will need to mix with a fork. So the grains are actually detaching from each other. So it's now time to try that dish and I have to tell you I'm pretty hungry so I'm gonna try it and yeah look at that it's it's just nice I like it uh, if you don't want to eat something too heavy and you got 20 minutes in front of you then you know you can make that little chicken grilled with brocos and uh, bulgur on the side. I mean, you don't have to make the bulgur, you don't have to put the raisins, you don't have to put the bell peppers, but you get the idea of the marinade. That's pretty tasty anyway. This video is now coming to an end and I want to take the opportunity to thank you for tuning in and watch this recipe. If you want to support the channel in any kind of way, please do so. And you can also subscribe to the channel, give a thumb up or leave a comment down below on which recipes you want to see next. Until next time, bon appétit.